Vikram. 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 Oh, Vikram. Oh, hi. Vikram, how are you? Juice. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's Cobra. I'm Vikram, and you can follow us on Instagram. Two different more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. <laughs> if you're this watching is... this very late at night, you're wondering, is it real? We got a new trailer. Or is it a dream? And we've seen... I had a weird dream last night. Ooh, gross. It was very weird. Uh, we got a new trailer for the Canada film Vikrant Rona, which we've seen motion posters and I believe a, a teaser for. Uh, do you remember? Nope. You don't? Nope. Really? Really. Oh. I'm not pulling your leg. Uh, oh, it, wait a minute. It's the piratey thing. Piratey kind of thing. I remember. With cool visuals? Yep, very cool visuals. Um... I absolutely remember. This was a, a little while ago. This was a few months ago. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a Canada film with... Uh, I absolutely do now. With, uh, forgive mispronunciations as always, uh, Kichasudeep, Anup Bandari, and Ajanish, and Shalini Arts. And this comes out in July, I believe, 28th in 3D, uh, apparently. Well... Uh, as well. How big is that in India? I don't know. You guys can let us know. Let us know. Because um, no, no clue how big that is. It's not very popular here. Not anymore. Very, very, very rarely. I'm talking every six years maybe there might be something in 3D. For big films with visuals, I'd much rather always see it in IMAX yep. over a 3D. Me too. Always. Always. Um, that's just my personal opinion. But anyways, let's just get into this guy. And we are watching the Canada because this is a Canada film. I know there's an English trailer where they dubbed English. No thanks. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I will watch the original language. Always. Always. Here we go. I hate when they do that. I <laughs> It's almost cartoony. It really is. Now I want a cigar. Station <laughs> <laughs> The, the cinematography is mag and the color is gorgeous. It's like a blue hue over everything. Inspector Suresh <laughs> <laughs> I love the score. Once upon a time, there was a devil. Gara, 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 
So visuals, man, are just... <laughs> <laughs> it's like almost what, th- you know, what 300 did in terms of just... It yeah. It lo- looks like... A, it was a cartoon, right? Essentially, basically, right? Yeah. It's almost... It gives off vibes of not the ty- style of... I mean, not the type of film that 300 is. I'm not saying that. I'm saying visually, that's the vibe it's giving me. Almost yeah, like the, it's... Almost like it's a, 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 a video game. Almost. Yeah, like it's a gothic kind of cartoon or video game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, probably worth watching just for the, the just cinematography. For the um, also, the the score, but I don't know. It, it, felt, yeah. it felt like a uh, Ani uh, score behind it. The very rock and roll kind of heavy. Yeah, and we even got uh, some uh, 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 screamo a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> it's very nice. Obviously, it, it's very it's very strange for a that was almost a three minute trailer mm-hmm. and it didn't feel like it gave too much away yeah it i still don't quite know yeah. outside of this is a schwa, swashbuckling swashbuckling thing and the guy is the devil who may not know he's the devil so he's probably an anti-hero right kind of i guess or is he the anti-christ because he's the devil <laughs> um what if the antichrist didn't know he was the antichrist is he then pro-christ in a negative way. And it's directed by Anoop Bandari. Bandari. Who's the cinematographer? Because it felt like the cinematographer for... Um, the cinematography reminded me they used blue in the same way red was used for Bulbul. Um, uh, Bulbul. It felt... Remember how just the cinematography in that was jaw-droppingly gorgeous with those evening shots and the red tones? The cinematography, his name is William David. Relatively new. Uh, cinematographer. All right. I mean, he, his first credit was 2014. And How long has he been doing TV? <laughs> One show. Yeah. Wow. He's very new. That's uh, a, that's that's remarkable. Yeah. Um, Truly, considering considering what the visuals look like in that trailer, just by, off the trailer alone. She whiz. That looks like an incredibly seasoned, well done. And kudos to all of the post production visual effects, color correction. It's just, it's got all of these, it's got, the blues are warm, too. Usually blue is cold. Uh, it's a much cooler scent, but this, this was a, these, these blues are very, very warm and yeah. vibrant. At a minute 26. Yeah. That's just a great shot. My hope is obviously, it's almost, it almost feels like um, uh, KGF on the water. It does a little bit. <laughs> But even like, you know what I love about this shot? The time that was put into the fact that look at the way the wheel is on there so that the spokes on the wheel are mathematically pleasing to the eye. It's not off in any way from here to here. You could have easily, if you turned that wheel just a fraction, it wouldn't look like it's as together in that shot. And is that a CGI wheel? A, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? A practical wheel. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything just looks... Just cinematography Beautiful. wise and, and, and color wise. Just it looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous, gorgeous you'd gorgeous. hope you, oh my jeez. You hope that obviously the story is gonna go along with it. Yeah, because you can only handle visuals for so long that are pretty. If the story is not engaging yeah. and the acting's bad. I mean, you guys know how not we saying felt. it's going to be. You guys know how we felt about KGF too. Yeah. And that was a gorgeous film. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so obviously I don't know because I I still don't quite know outside of this guy's a swashbuckling kind of maybe anti-hero kind of like a Jack Sparrow esque of he's is he a good guy is he a bad guy probably right. a little bit of both right um, and then hold on I, but I still don't know what he wants and I don't know who's in danger and why. Almost half a century okay. ago, on a remote village in the middle of a tropical rainforest, starts. Uh, in the middle of a tropical rainforest, starts witnessing a series of unexplainable events, which they attribute to the supernatural. Oh, okay. Okay. Jeez. It looks but like- why is he there? Is he making those supernatural events take place, or is he coming to stop the supernatural events? So maybe it's kind of like an Indiana Jones meets Captain Jack meets... Anytime you have a whip, you're going to be compared to Indiana Jones. Yeah. 
I mean just the the sense of the swashbuckling aspect and then yeah. the, the supernatural stuff going on and he's there to try to stop it while he's doing something else. Is he a reluctant hero? Comes out on the 28th, right? Yeah. That's the week after Ren Beer's film. Ren Smart. Beer's comes out the 22nd, I believe, of Smart. July. Um, but obviously this is a Canada film. So it's, right. It's, it's going to have its, its different, own. It'll have its own uh, fan base. But um, anyways, let us know what you what thought you about think? the trailer. Uh, what should be our next Canada film that we should watch down below? Just.